it's your girl queen Molly, and today i'm going to be showing you this tutorial on how i got this ginger look unfortunately it has to be a voiceover because i did not realize that the volume was super super low while i was recording and you guys cannot hear me personally i hate voiceovers for tutorials whether it's a hair tutorial makeup tutorial anything i feel like if you're showing someone how to do something it should be like a video but this time it was out of my control and it's out of my hands for any future tutorials that i haven't have i will definitely make it a video and not a voiceover but i hope you guys can bear with me and yeah make sure you like this video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then what are you waiting for <laughs> Um, be sure to turn on the post notifications so you'll always be notified when I have a new upload. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. Okay, so here I just took the hair out of the packaging and I was just combing it through. It is a 613 lace front wig, 22 inches. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description below. It is MalibuHair.com or their Instagram is just MalibuHair. So I did do the boiling water method. I filled up a container halfway with hot water from the pipe and the other half was from the kettle that I used. As you can see right here, I'm putting the water in and then I was testing it out and it was freaking hot. <laughs> so right now I'm just getting everything that I need. I got a towel, I got gloves, and then I got the dyes that I was gonna use. I had bought two bottles of cajun spice and two bottles of cinnamon both from a door you can find it at your local beauty supply store i go to diamond girl because i just love them per personally that's just my favorite but you can get them anywhere so right here i'm pouring in the bottle of cajun spice and cinnamon i wanted more of like a dirtier ginger so i used more cinnamon than cajun spice so i'm just gonna mix the hair until i think the dye was evenly distributed and there was no more little there was no more dye at the bottom of the bowl and then i just dipped the hair in and i pushed it around i swished it up in there you know i wanted to make sure the hair got everywhere because i didn't want some some strands to be ginger and some strands to be blonde like that was just gonna be a no-no and then, as you can see here i'm just playing with it i'm taking it out i'm looking where it needs more dye do i need to leave it in for a little bit longer do i need more cajun spice do i need more cinnamon like I was just testing it out and making sure it was getting to the color that I wanted. Okay, so here I was, I'm just taking the hair and I'm washing it. I want to wash out all the excess dye that didn't bleed to the hair. And I'm just making sure that the water runs as clear as possible.
because while it was in the water, I was running my fingers through it and it wasn't tangling up. Done washing the hair and I'm getting my wig head and my little wig stand, the ones that you attach on the table because I was just lazy and I was not in the mood to be standing up. So I just attached it to the side of the table and I was now I'm going to start bleaching the knots. So here I have my BW2 powder and then the 40 developer to bleach the knots. When you're bleaching the knots, the consistency has to be super duper thick or else it will bleed through the lace and that's not what you want. Personally, I should have bleached the knots before I dyed the hair, but it was already too late and I wanted to do it. So thankfully, I say I knew how to save it because I realized what I was doing because it did bleed a little bit. And the hair, like the roots itself, did kind of turn red a little bit. But I had some leftover dye. So while, when the lace was done tinting and it was done bleaching, I dipped the hair. I got some more water and I got the Cajun Spice and I got another thing of cinnamon. And then I just dipped the roots back in there and it went back to normal. Like nothing happened. So personally, if I were you and I was doing it, I was doing this, I would bleach the knots before dyeing or watercoloring the hair just because in case the hair does dye or in case the hair, the roots does bleach and it gets through the lace, at least it will, the hair will already be blonde and you don't really have nothing much to worry about. Okay, so here I just washed the bleach out of the knots, and I'm showing you guys how it looks. I wanted to provide video clip of how the hair looks when it's dry too, because a lot of times the hair looks one way when it's wet, and it looks a whole different color when it's dry. So I wanted to provide you guys with both, and I did, and it came out so good. The hair is so soft. The hair was so straight and it wasn't even flat irons yet. There was absolutely no products in there. I'll be sure to input some videos and clips of when I got it installed and everything and how it looks. That's it for this video. I hope you like this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.